the different types of coffee. Have you ever found yourself standing in line at a coffee shop completely unsure of what to order? The menu behind the counter is extremely long and you aren't sure what half of the options are, so you just opt for a regular latte. If this sounds familiar, it might be time to learn about the different types of coffee. Finding the ideal type of coffee for you might be challenging because there are so many different kinds available. Continue watching this video to learn about the different options you might be faced with the next time you visit a local coffee shop or Starbucks. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one as well. What is a latte? A latte, also known as a café latte, is a milk coffee that features a silky layer of froth as the beverage's true highlight. One or two shots of espresso, steamed milk and a thin layer of frothed milk on top are all components used to create a delicious latte. These components work together to produce a milky coffee with a smooth texture and a balanced flavour. If you don't drink dairy milk, you can easily substitute it with soy, oat or coconut milk. Since people have been blending coffee and milk for ages, the latte's beginnings are unclear. The smooth drink that we know and adore today is considered to have originated in America and reached its height of fame in Seattle in the 1980s. What is a cappuccino? Espresso and steamed milk are combined to create the coffee beverage known as a cappuccino. A single, or occasionally a double, espresso shot is often topped with equal parts steamed and frothed milk to make a traditional Italian cappuccino. For a gentler espresso flavour and a richer taste, many Americans have modified this recipe by adding additional steamed and frothed milk. A cappuccino has a strong coffee flavour and is sweetened by the milk's natural sugar. Additionally, things like sugar and flavoured syrup may be used to change the taste of the drink, although it is not traditional. What is an espresso? Many coffee beverages include espresso. Espresso is a concentrated version of coffee that is only added in small amounts. Although it is made from the same beans as coffee, it is stronger, thicker and more caffeinated. Espresso is created by using any type of coffee, regardless of the roast. The way the beans are ground and prepared makes the difference between coffee and espresso. Before the steaming water gets used in an espresso machine, the beans are ground into a fine consistency. This produces a shot of espresso. The shot may then be consumed on its own or used to create a wide variety of coffee drinks, such as a cappuccino or a latte. What is a cold brew? In order to make cold brewed coffee or cold brew, ground coffee is steeped in room temperature water for several hours, typically 12 to 18 hours or even longer, before the grounds are strained out and the coffee is chilled. The coffee may then be served and ice may be added. Cold brewing produces a rich, energizing beverage by extracting the distinct flavor and caffeine from the coffee beans. Like other types of coffee, cold brew is often given additions like milk, cream and sugar. Iced coffee and cold brew are similar, but they are not the same thing. While traditional iced coffee is manufactured by brewing hot coffee using a typical procedure and then chilling it, either by refrigerating it or pouring it over ice, cold brew is created by steeping coffee grounds at room temperature for a prolonged period of time. What is a nitro cold brew? Nitro cold brew is a cool sounding Starbucks order, but what really is it? Essentially, it's cold brewed coffee that gets injected with nitrogen gas. Nitrogen infused coffee is different from conventional cold brew in a few ways. Your barista will first serve cold nitro coffee straight from the faucet or infusion kettle. Starting with standard cold brew coffee, the beverage is made. Coffee grounds are steeped for several hours in cold water to create that, usually at least overnight or for as long as 24 hours. The nitrogen gas is then quickly introduced into the liquid just before it is poured. This is accomplished using specialized machinery that you may be more accustomed to seeing in a bar than in your neighborhood coffee shop. 
What is a mocha? A mocha is a coffee beverage mixed with chocolate, espresso and milk. It is sometimes referred to as a café mocha or café mocha. There are many variations in the precise ratios of those components, as well as the kind of chocolate used, chocolate syrup, cocoa powder or hot chocolate mix, for example. The difference between a mocha and a latte is that the former includes a shot of hot chocolate. Both of these drinks, however, are espresso-based and have steamed and milk foam. The mocha's chocolate flavour makes it richer and quite a bit sweeter, making it the perfect beginner coffee for those who don't like strong flavours. Types of coffee roasts There are typically four main types of coffee roasts available. Light, medium, dark and extra dark. Every other roast type will fit into one of these categories and can be regarded as a subtype or subclassification rather than a complete roast type in and of itself. It's typical to refer to a light roast as being more blonde. Additionally, it has a somewhat more toasted flavour and typically has the most acidity and caffeine. This is a result of not roasting it long enough to remove these components. A more well-rounded flavour is a medium roast. You'll get something slightly darker, but it still has a toastier flavour than a fuller one. Although some of the acidity and caffeine have been roasted away, it still has a healthy quantity of both. You'll also experience a strong scent here. When you reach a dark roast, the toasted flavour is less noticeable and is replaced with a more authentic roast flavour. It will be less acidic and caffeine rich, which results in a deeper, heavier flavour. It has a flavour that is almost peppery and the body is a deeper colour. The extremely dark roast is the last option and gives the least amount of caffeine and acidity because of the extended roasting time. It will have a very strong flavour that is typically bitter and smoky. These are just a small portion of the different types of coffee out there. In reality, there are probably thousands of different specialty versions of these coffees, so the options truly are endless. If you've ever visited a cafe or coffee shop, you're aware that the drink selection is more times than often overwhelming. Hopefully, now you'll be a bit more informed when making your big decision. What is your go-to coffee order? Let us know in the comments down below, and we look forward to seeing you again in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future uploads.